Hebron Joshua, anteprima 2011, la prima domanda è il suo libro preferito. My favorite book changes every two weeks, two years, but uh, because I was working now for uh, the publication of classical books into a children's book, I have done a very good and profound reading on crime and punishment of Dostoevsky. And for this time, I adapted it into a children's book, but it is for this period my favorite book. Il suo personaggio preferito? It depends. It mean, the question is what it means a uh, favorite to me. If the personage is passing a very deep change and doing a very profound development, this, even if he is not a person I would like to meet him in the street or to be with him, so I will take Hamlet as a very uh, profound and very complicated kind of a personage, even he is bringing disaster upon himself, upon his family. Still, Hamlet is a big and a very important hero. Il passaggio che ha amato di più in un libro. So the passage, the, the excerpt of the book, the page of the book you loved most. It is very, very complicated and I, I reject this question. I reject <laughs> this question. I don't want to answer to this question. There are many pages. I cannot say these pages and that pages. I abolish this question. Va bene. E allora il primo libro che lei ha letto? Che si ricorda? I remember, and this I told many times, the La Corre de D'Amicis, uh, the, the collection of short stories and the, the book of D'Amicis, who was uh, teaching me how to be sentimental without to being cheap, but to be a solid sentimentalism. Come crea un personaggio? I have the problem is the major character because the secondary characters are coming around the major character. I of course the major character takes some elements from myself, from my inner life, from my inner uh, sensibility. The question is how to put this major character in the novel a little bit far away from me, not to be identifying with him totally. But uh, I can take it from, from gesture, from physical things, from, uh, uh, I would say, a kind of behavior before I enter to his inner soul. I want to add something to the last question. Uh, the, I can create a personage who a conflict. When he starts the novel, he has some conflict in him. And the way in which he is producing or behaving or reacting to the conflict inside himself, this is the way in which I can go on with the development of this uh, character. Può raccontarci qualcosa del suo prossimo romanzo? Can you tell us something about your next novel? The, the, the last novel that will be published in Italy in November is dealing for the first time with the question of the artistic creation. But I have done it not through a writer but through a filmmaker. Because I wanted to divide all the forces that are inside myself because I am also a cineast. I am also a director, I am also a photographer. When I am writing, I am doing all this function. So in order to understand the dynamics between this function, I have chosen as a main protagonist a filmmaker who is coming with, he is a, a, an old filmmaker, about 70, he's coming with his 
quite uh, old uh, uh, actress that was acting in all his films, like a kind of a Fellini with his uh, wife or with his uh, lovers and things like that. And he's coming to see in Santiago de Compostela a retrospective of his films. And through this, I discover especially the dynamics between him and the scriptwriter who was his pupil and they have split both of them with a terrible uh, quarrel and uh, the way in which he is recreating his relationship with this script writer who was doing with him a very strange but very special kind of film. So all the dynamics, the forces of creations are described in this novel. The novel is La Cena Perduta. Questo non lo traduciamo, il titolo è... La Cena Perduta, il titolo.